Hi friends, it's Amanda May. Welcome to my Counted Cross Stitch channel where we celebrate all things cross stitch, save the stitches, sustainable stitching, and well, little doll baby pugs. Welcome, and if you are joining me again, thank you so much for coming back. This week I have a huge, huge haul to show you and some of the projects that I have been working on. I have only been stitching on one project this whole week, but I have some really fun stuff to show you. So some eye candy and a bunch of books to talk about. So I hope that you stick with me. This is my piece that I have worked on this week. I am so excited to say that I got the bottom leaves done and I'm starting to work here on the berries and I am so excited. Now this isn't the only thing that I've stitched on this week. I've stitched on more but shh, I can't show you because you know I, I apparently I have the I'm in the firm believer of go big or go home. I am working on a brand new book that I'm going to be publishing soon that I did not a pattern, not one chart, but like a book. <laughs> so I have been busy, busy, busy. And of course I can't show you, but I'm so excited. So I've got a book coming out. So that, that's been taking up a lot of my uh, stitching time and it is a cross stitch book. Yes, a book. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is the one project that I have been working on it's autumn dream and it is just amazing I would love to start uh, in this series peace on earth oh with the cardinal I would love to I would love to start that I'm not there yet though <laughs> uh, and we're gonna do show and tell and per kitten stitchers request Kitten Stitcher nicely requested that everybody sing the that's what I'm all into this week. She asked for more people to sing her jingle and talk about what we're all into and I said challenge accepted. So Teresa, thank you very much for giving me permission to talk about what I'm all into. I've got 10 things and they all involve some form of show and tell. And let's get started. All right, what am I all, all into this week? I am into holiday decorating. Did you hear that right? Holiday decorating? Yes. Yes, you did. I've got three trees up right now and I have six more in the wings. What derailed me this week was my my kids got got a little sick. So uh, we've been working through that. So that's number two is Zarbies. Cold and cough remedy. Thank you, Zarbies. We're having a good time over here. So holiday decorating. Number two is a cough medicine, I told you. Number three, the local bazaars, the uh, Holly Marts, the Christmas Marts around town. I got a huge show and tell to show you. I picked up this little ornament. It is stitched on red 14 count Ada. Just a nice, simple, non-denominational candle. I think it's really precious. It's in one of those quintessential gold plastic frames with the plexiglass. So I picked that up, I think 25 cents. I got this and I've only ever seen these miniature like to hold the cinnamon sticks in. But I picked this little guy up and I thought he was so cute. And he, it looks like a bread cloth. So I assume this is like, I want to say it's a bread basket. It's not lined. It is also on a 14 count and it looks like it is a plaid, a, a gingham. That's, would you call it a gingham? I mean, it's a large print, a plaid. Anyway, look at that cute little sheep. And it's dated uh, 1989 and the initials BCO. And again, it's got the fun little hardware. And if you wanted to, I thought this would be cool too if I wanted to take this out and repurpose it. This here could make, um, like a cute double duty, like two wool hangings with the heart here. Okay, <laughs> the next thing I got at the Holiday Mart, and they 
it was priced and then they marked it down. I got this for $5. I could, I could not even make this for $5. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I don't know, but I got this gorgeous quilted table runner and my husband actually saw it and thought it was so perfect because I love bunnies in Easter and springtime. So <laughs> I got this and it's got butterflies and it's all bright and adorable. So I got that. When people ask me, what are you gonna do with this Amanda Bay? Or most people don't know who might, who, they don't know me. I'm usually wearing a quirky sweater and people just kind of write me off as one of those coot you know, goofballs. So <laughs> uh, I got, I got strange looks like people didn't know what I was going to do with this. I got this trivet and it's got the Delft tile and it's like the seventies and don't worry, Stephanie, I won't send it to you. <laughs> Steph and her mom, Pam are going to the Netherlands. Hashtag love it. So it, it's been well loved, but you could put a cross stitch on it. I could leave the tiles on this side and and then put the cross stitch on the back here. And then I thought this was so neat. I got this piece. It's a piece of walnut and it is not a trivet. I was told that it is a cheat, like um, a crudité platter or a cheese platter where you put the top and then you have the stuff around the sides, but it's gorgeous. It's Ozark walnut wear, genuine Ozark grown walnut. Look at that beautiful piece of wood. What if you either pop this tile out, put a cross stitch on it, or you fit your cross stitch using a magnet, you know, and then fit it and then you use your cording or trim and put it around you. And you could add a couple layers of batting to have it raised. And then you could have this on your table, have this be like a big raised pin cushion with your cross stitch design. And then you could like leave your goodies on the side here. It's cause it's got, a, like a beveling to it. So just a thought, you could use your, your cheese platters, you know, they can double as cross stitch accessories, right? <laughs> so beautiful walnut. And then I got to play matchmaker this week. Yay. Uh, at the same sale, I got, I got some books and I got the best of Vanessa Ann's and I believe I've shown you this book before I, ha I believe it's a duplicate book but apparently I see a Vanessa Ann book and I just can't help myself so inside is this or this is the piece that I have I got this a couple years ago and it says I journeyed to the rainbow's end and found not gold but you my friend I have put this out during March, like around the St. Patrick's Day, the green, kiss me if I'm Irish, whole thing. And so I thought that was really cute like with the rainbow and the talking about, you know, gold and friendship. And so here it's in this book. Now this book, it shows you the pattern and that mat here is like, it's cut out to look like little clouds, which wows us. So this is, this book is from the mid nineties. So yes, it is a little dated. Oh, I got a pug sleeping here and a pug sleeping here. That never happens. Not the Normally they're running around. So, okay. So this was stitched on a 14 count Ada. As you can see, there's some lines. It looks like it needs to be pulled out and pressed, but it is framed so nicely. I have not taken this out of the frame. And this again is in the best of Vanessa Ann. There's, as you can see, some other patterns in this book that I like. There is fun fact. So Shepherd's Bush, the main designer at Shepherd's Bush, she used to, she designed for Vanessa Ann before she took over. So here is, it's a, the same designer for Shepherd's Bush. And I love those heart balloons. I just love those little people. They're so pretty. I love them. So I, the gift from the heart is that's what this is called. You all know that I love Valentine's Day. So this is the I love you. And I liked that font with the floral accents on it. Gotta love me. A, gotta love a good floral. Then this, I thought this was really cute for all of the 
everyone that loves Alice in Wonderland. I, I thought this was really cute. It's the bunny and he's running and he's holding his watch, you know, and it's no time to spare. And then I thought these are really lovely. And I thought if I stitched any of them, I would stitch this one with that really beautiful urn. And they, they turned it into the little pillows. So th that's out of this book here. I will try my best to have it linked below. The next book that I got is The Romance of Paula Vaughn. And I know I have a duplicate of this, so I won't flip through it again. I found this and it's the storybook favorites in cross stitch. And there's Paddington Bear, there is Angelina Ballerina, Madeline. So there's some really cute, and of course the tale of Peter Rabbit. I had those books when I was little. So there's a good little bit of stuff here. Uh, really precious for little ones and again this book is from the from 1994 so some of the newer obviously the newer stuff wouldn't be in here but there's classic Winnie the Pooh which I thought that was really precious so that is by um, Gillian Souter there hi honey My doll baby needed me. <laughs> All right, where were we? We were at, oh, oh, so the books. This is the last book that I got and it's called Gorgeous Cross Stitch, more than 60 enchanting projects to decorate every room. Now this book, there was some things that are a bit dated in it. Mm. But as you can see, I still found stuff to mark and I'm happy about that. So I wanna show you um, if they let me, hi Puggy. Oh, so this is the garden sampler, the hedge, the hedge groves, the traditional English garden. I really liked the look of that. I, this, it was the antique sampler and I really liked this one. I thought this was really lovely. It has two people carrying, it looks like an upside down tree. Maybe it's supposed to be grapes and there's a house. I, I really liked that. And <laughs> the next one, I love this. And it, it reminds me again of Pam and Steph in the Netherlands. And I, I went to the Netherlands, I went to Holland and it was a really a wonderful thing. I was not there for the tulips, I was there in the winter but um so gorgeous so the fields so that's full coverage there and you've got the windmills and the the greenery clouds in the sky and then the red poppy fields which i just love and then i thought this was really cute i can't show you I'm trying to get it halfway here so you can make this little chicken and it's an egg koozie how adorable is that? Who needs an egg koozie? A <laughs> single egg koozie, but it's so cute. I love it. And then this design here, I thought was really pretty. You could update the colors, but this, I, I love this. I feel, I feel like I need to just stitch an egg koozie to say I've stitched an <laughs> egg koozie. Um, crafts and home reference. Chris Rankin. Those are, those are the books that I got at the holiday festival, the little holiday bazaar. Number four is consolidating the cross stitch, save the stitches stash that I have. What do I mean by that? Okay. I have a box and it's just empty frames now because I spent a good chunk of my weekend getting a lot of these cross stitches out of the frames. So I got, I took this one out of the frame. Okay. So a big box, all frames, empty frames. These are everything that got pulled out of the frames. I wanna thank all of you who suggested that I watch Marlene Stitching by the Lake and her Save the Stitches that she's transformed. Amazing, thank you. I could not hit that subscribe button fast enough. So Marlene, thank you. <laughs> all right, so 
This one was, uh, had been professionally framed. I pulled it on out. It is one of those kits from the mid seventies. It's a crowl, crowl embroidery owl, and it still has the uh, adhesive tape. I have not cleaned or done anything to these other than take them out of frames. So this is an Erica Wilson Columbia Minerva piece. The next piece, I know Java Girl Stitches had stitched this similar piece, not this exact one, but a similar one to this. And so I pulled this one out of the frame. This one had been professionally framed, but it hadn't been stretched properly. So this straight line border on both sides was, was actually kind of curved and wonky. You'll see that in the photo slideshow. So I pulled this out. This is on 14 count Ada. What I like about it is you can see the different dimensions in the cross stitch. These are not full crosses and these are. So the mountain landscape, you can tell the difference. I, I really like that piece. What pro precipitated me pulling this one out of the frame was that it was skewed and I had left it in the frame for the last year or so, but it started like where you look at something and you just start tilting your head. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next piece. It is also on 14 count Ada. I think it's super precious. I think that this will get turned into a Valentine's Day mini pillow. I think it would look super precious as a little mini pillow. Hey Pugs, come here babies. Come here honeys. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to help me show all these pretty things? Come here. Help me. It's not dinner time yet. Do you want to help me? Do you want to show, do you want to show everyone in floss tube all these pretty little things? Yeah. Okay. The next one was also framed and it was in a mat. But the mat, I, I think this will be really precious as a small. And it says, when someone mentions quilting, I just go to pieces. Yes, please. Also on 14 count Ada, it's in like a dusky, like a yellow. So I liked the border though. It's got the little hearts. It's got the cute, I, I, the border is just really cute. So that will be cute as a mini pillow. This piece, I was, I pulled it out. I believe I got it last year at Habitat for Humanity. And when I looked at this, it's on an 18, it's on an 18 count white Ada. And when I looked at this, I thought that that was hand stitched on an 18 count Ada. I pulled it out of the frame and did all the things. No, it's machine. It's in machine embroidered, which does not, that does not take away its beauty. I was just, I had never seen a machine embroidered piece on Ada. I thought Ada was just used for handwork and not machine embroidery. So I learned something new every day. Lifelong learner here. So there we go. I think this is going to be made into a small for my Easter and spring basket. We joked that I'm not going to have a dough bowl. I'm going to have what Stephanie has, which is a dough bucket. And then one of my wonderful viewers said, no, Amanda May, you're not going to have a dough bucket. You're going to have a dough bathtub. <laughs> I start cracking up because I am doing cleaning in my house and I actually have like a baby bathtub you know one of those bathtubs that you wash your infant in and it's super cute and it's one of those things like it's too small to fit a pug in and I, I need to just donate the bathtub but a part of me kind of feels like I should spray paint the bathtub and make it really cute <laughs> and put my goodies in it I know I'm ridiculous but if you can't laugh at yourself what do you, you know? Okay. These are the two pieces I got. Uh, they were framed and matted and they were like that, like that. Anyway, I took them out. They are on, to me, it looks like an 18 count Ada, but it might actually be a Hardanger, which is a 22 count. I did not measure it. If you look, you can see the indentation here of where the mat was. And so there's the hen and the chicks. And then here's a little rooster. 
Unfortunately, this was glued down uh, and there was stitchery tape used, so there's a lot of residue on the back. But won't those be cute as either little ornaments for like a farm tree, like my Wisconsin tree? Uh, or I don't know, part of my little pillows? We'll see. Okay, the next one I have, and I had, I have had this one in my collection for, I want to say this is like one of the first ones that I ever bought. And it says the making to a good country marriage. There's that goose. And it says, first off, don't be mule headed. We got mules and donkeys in our neighborhood. So teaching the kids about mules. If your love by the bushel, not by the cup. I love that bushel and a cup. I love that. And then what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And then the bottom is a religious thing. But what I liked about it was it has the, the kerosene lamps. I grew up using kerosene lamps. So every time, anytime I see a good kerosene lamp, I brings back the memories. <laughs> All right. The next piece is the Zeppelin pieces. I showed these last year on my channel. They were framed. Wowzas. I, you all gave me some great ideas to turn these into throw pillows. And I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. This one had been professionally framed, but there's a stain on it. I don't know if it was framed with the stain or if that happened after the fact, but this is, I got this one all undone. It is on, and they're staining all in the center. So I don't know. This is on a 14 count Ada and all full cross, full cross stitch, some back stitching. The next is the other Zeppelin piece, which I love. I wish they were both in blue. I don't decorate with a whole, whole I like, anyway, I like blue. So this one was not professionally framed. So it looks like the same stitcher did both pieces. One was professionally framed with the staining. This one was not stained and was framed by probably, no, well, it wasn't professionally framed. And the back had this red felting that was hot glued down. So the edges there, does the, there is the glue around the edges here from the backing. All right, the next piece was gifted to me by my wonderful friend, Grace in West Virginia. And it is the welcome. This one is on a 14 count oatmeal Ada. And you can kind of see there's a, the difference in pigments. It has, it's not one straight color. You can kind of see the banding and striations of the different color cloth. This one is also from my friend Grace and it needs a good hard bath. It is very dirty. When you see, remember me? So when you see this, no. When this you see, remember me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that other than give it a bath and then go from there and see what to do with it. This was in one of those heart frames and the the frame was actually well I'll, you'll see pictures from 1986 this I pulled out it had masking tape on it and fluff and foam this I'm gonna keep as in in the I'm gonna keep it in the round and go ahead and make that into a little pillow with the country quilts I think it's really cute it's also on 14 count oatmeal Ada this, oh my gosh, this one is a hot mess. This is another welcome pineapple. It was in a shelf that I got and the display shelf I would like to spray paint and use it for maybe one day if I ever go to Nashville or a trade show or one of those things in real life. And not just talk to myself and my camera. So <laughs> I'm not talking to myself, you're all with me. You know what I mean though, right? So this needs to, that needs to be, that needs a good hard cleaning. This piece, I love it. Purple Finch, New Hampshire, 1984. I love that purple Finch. It is glued down completely to this board. I don't know how to remove it. I don't know if it, I don't know. So it's completely glued down. 
So there we go. I love it though. I have just a few more left. This is the limes. I love this. I love lemon and limes. This will be for summer. I think this will either be made into a flat fold or into a little pillow. I was thinking making it into a pillow and then using the lime green or the green mini pom-poms like the lady dot creates mini pom-poms I think that would be amazing and looks so cute and any excuse to use a mini pom-pom yes please this one friendship is everlasting very dated but adorable nonetheless adorable you don't see a whole lot of people in bonnets I love it life's grazer life's greatest treasures come from the heart I don't know if this was supposed to be stitched with another person here or if it's just a little one with his go, trying to give a kiss but I don't know Valentine's Day and then this one I have not pulled out because it is also glued down this is another gift from Grace and it is a sampler no one is rich enough to be without friends. Yes, and I love all of my floss tube friends. Thank you all so much. I love you all. Seriously. Okay, the last piece. Two hours. Two hours later, and I only got one out of the frame. This, as you can see, is still in its frame. Double mat. There's a goose and a little sheep and it's adorable and I thought this would be super cute again for spring for Easter for my dough bathtub and after two hours this is what I got out of my out of the second one that was framed these were professionally framed and that is all I will say about that and you that is my consolidating my framed stash now that's the stuff that I have that was in frames that I no longer wanted in the frames I told you all last week that I have pretty much reached capacity as far as wall space and storage space for my pieces of course I don't want to put them up in an attic or anywhere where they can be susceptible to temperature fluctuations and you know issues with moisture so in a climate controlled and out of direct sunlight environment so I love cross stitch you all know I love cross stitch and vintage textiles I waited at least a year and most of those were you know four and five years before I popped them out of the frames so I hope that you know that I don't take that lightly many of these pieces were destined for the landfill and I hoping to give them new life. Yay. Okay. My next thing, number five on my list is I am so excited. Prairie Moon has opened up a website. I will have it linked below. Prairie Moon and the Crypt Club and some of these beautiful works of art and stitching. Uh, many of you know you watched my tour of the Maryland State Fair from this year where I went banana pants over the stitched Prairie Moon pieces that were on full display and want, wanted so badly to stitch the Christmas piece. The website, they are up and running only on PDF form. I have not purchased anything from their website so I cannot speak to the quality or anything of it other than to say it is there. I am so excited it is there. I am so happy that they are coming back to designing or at least releasing their beautiful works of art. So again, Prairie Moon. Uh, I think I'm putting that on my Christmas list of something that I would like for Christmas. Their charts are pricey. As many of you know, I I have a $20 per week budget for Save the Stitches and miscellaneous craft items. That budget is firm. And you know, this, this hobby can be expensive. 
Oh. Oh, never mind. I was going to go off on another long tangent, but I'll, I'll save. I'll save it. Well, number six and seven are food related items. I am so excited. Sweet potato pie. Love it. My favorite, my favorite seasonal pie. I love pumpkin pie, but nothing is on. Sweet potato pie is where it's at. Then gingerbread prep. I got another gingerbread mold. It's happening this year. I'm making this happen. If you've been a viewer of my channel, you've seen my cast iron gingerbread molds, all the things gingerbread. And then I was gifted this adorable plastic canvas gingerbread house hello yes please adorable this is stitched on a plastic canvas it looks like it is seven squares per inch the three-dimensional aspect of this i know snug harbor crafts uh debbie's husband does plastic canvas and had made has made furniture and done all that really awesome thing. I have a bunch of plastic canvas stuff to show you that I have been gifted. I think it's adorable. I I do not have the tissue box cover, but y'all know, you've all seen them, the, those plastic canvas tissue covers. <laughs> but here we go. Gingerbread plastic canvas. Love it. Oh, and then cranberry season. I love cranberries, cranberry salsa, cranberry jelly, cranberry everything. So cranberries and then I'm really excited. Look at this beauty. This is, I call it a Christmas cactus, but I was told that because it's blooming right now in November, it is actually a Thanksgiving cactus. But I love this so much. I love it. So this is my Thanksgiving cactus. I'm so happy that it is blooming. And the last thing that I am all into this week is Molly of Denali. If you have young kids, grandkids, if you are a caregiver, if you, in whatever capacity, if you have young children, it's on PBS, Molly of Denali. Yes, amazing. I... I'm so happy and grateful that the program exists. If you love PBS, go ahead and check out Molly of Denali. So that's what I'm all into this week. And yes, I know I cannot sing. <laughs> and that's okay. I wanted to remind everyone, I've got my Santa earrings on. I've got my holiday apron on it's not too early my friends and you too can stitch a waist canvas cross stitch sweater for christmas i feel like i need to do a giveaway now i'm not leaving you a whole lot of time to stitch this though for christmas but but if you would like this pattern. It comes with the waist canvas and the floss. If you would like to stitch this in, it, it's got the pattern in there. If you would like to stitch this, I need you to say sweater, sweater. And I know y'all in the other parts of the world, you call it a jumper or a pullover, but sweater, S-W-E-A-T-E-R, sweater to be entered to win this waist canvas Santa. He's making a list, checking it twice. And I'm gonna tell you, I am excited to see everybody's holiday sweaters for this year. I have several of them. I've made several of them. I've embellished with hot glue guns. Oh, and those pom-poms, I love it. So, giveaway. Should we also give away one of my Destination Planet North Pole Earth patterns? Yes, we should. If you would like to win, use the word Earth, E-A-R-T-H, Earth, somewhere in your comment. So sweater and Earth, you like to wear sweaters on the planet Earth, however you want to do it, Earth and sweater. Two giveaway chances to win 
all standard flask tube giveaway rules apply. Yay! Oh my gosh, I have more. I have more to talk about, and it's getting dark. The pugs are ready for dinner. Shouldn't have said that. But I want to show you just a few more things. Sweater and Earth giveaway book for kids made by hand, a craft sampler. I thought this was really cool. I did a library search for sampler to see if I'm missing any of the needlework books that are out and about. And this is actually a children's book. I'm just going to show you this one page. It's beautifully illustrated. It has all the different things, you know, woodworking, doll making, quilting, um, cartography. So this, it, it says, poke, push, pull, deft hands, embroider silk threads into samplers that show personality. So I really liked this. Again, made by hand, a crafts sampler library book. Here's some of the pictures. And then my last library book. I am so excited about this one, my friends. Can you tell I'm excited? Blended embroidery. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. This, this author, he's done a really good job. This aesthetic reminds me a lot of what a lot of you are all into. And it is combining old and new textiles, ephemera, and embroidery. What I love about this is you all know that I save the stitches. A lot of pieces that, and doilies and lace and stuff that I find. Um, you know, just the idea of being able to make them into something new. Here is a mixed media embroidered quilt avec le doilies. And uh, printing on your fabric. So this is an embroidery book. I know many of you do embroider. If I thought though too, you could integrate cross stitch pieces with specialty stitches and your save the stitches or historic needlework stuff that you might have in your collection. I think that this author does a tremendous job of displaying his work and some ideas here is a scissor keep. Again, with the stitching, really beautiful. I felt this this book really touched my creative soul and I but this horn book so here was the historic horn book and then the revised idea of that I have been as you saw I picked up that one I mean so you can use reuse repurpose or of course buy from your local if you you know your as your as your budget allows. I got this one. I love Cardinals. I picked this one up for a dollar. So I'm going to flip that on over and see about making something gorgeous with that. Again, Blended Embroidery by Brian Haggard. I will have this linked down below. We got pugs. We got pretty things. I thank you all so much for joining me this week. I appreciate you so much. Again, sweater and earth to be entered. I will be back next week, hopefully with some more stitching to show you and my progress with everything else. Stay tuned for the slideshow. If you dare, <laughs> you're wonderful. I appreciate you and I will see you next week, my friends. Take care.